Hello everyone, welcome to another video from City Self-Sufficiency. Today I'm going to be separating out the baby mealworms from one of the main colony tubs and moving them onto their own nursery where they can be brought on. And I thought I'd bring you along for this one too. So you might be wondering, why would you bother to separate out the babies? Why not just leave them in with the adults if it's not like they're gonna get eaten or anything like that? And in all honesty, you can just leave the little worms in there and they'll be fine, but there are two main reasons why you might prefer to separate them out. Firstly, the adults are annoying at best. Uh, if you only want to feed worms to your pets, if you've got chickens or you've got lizards or anything like that, and you want to keep the beetles for breeding and then just feed the worms, then having them all in the same tub as the feeder worms means every time you go in there just to grab a handful of worms, you end up with half a handful of beetles at the same time. And this gets really tiring really quickly, especially if every day you want to be able to just grab a handful of worms. You don't want to have to keep picking beetles off your hands at the same time. The other reason why I separate the babies is to do with competition. So anything you give to the worms for them to eat is going to be eaten by the large worms and the beetles before the tiny ones have even had time to find the food. The little ones are absolutely minuscule. If you just compare these two side by side, you can see just what a size difference they go through when you consider the fact that the smaller one is probably only about a week old now and the older one is probably getting towards being 12 weeks old. You know, they grow a lot during that time. So you can imagine that the bigger one can move a heck of a lot faster than the little one can. And so by being by themselves, a batch of tiny worms has about the same amount of competition between each other, and they're able to find food before it's been scoffed by somebody else. I suppose what this all boils down to mostly is speed. I want the babies to get as much food as they need and to grow as quickly as possible, and I want to be able to just grab a handful of similar sized, full grown worms without having to carefully remove beetles every single time. I just find this to be the most efficient way. Anyway, so how do we separate them out? By far the easiest thing to do is to have a separate nursery tub already set up and ready to go. It just needs to be any old smooth tub that they can't climb out of. As the baby worms are so small, the tubs don't really need to be very big. Anything that's kind of sandwich box sized is absolutely fine. Now we take our breeding colonies and we remove any large bits of debris that are going to get in the way. And then if you kind of look at the bottom of this tub, it's a mixture of porridge oats that have been mostly eaten and a lot of tiny little baby mealworms as well and there'll be a lot of mealworm eggs mixed in that you won't be able to see at all. And so to separate out the sort of porridgey baby mealworm egg mixture away from the larger ones which are going to be staying in the breeding colony we're going to run them through a sieve. Any old sieve will do. It can be a plastic one or a metal one but try to use one that's got reasonably large holes just because the bigger the holes are the larger size of baby mealworm that you're going to be able to transfer over it just means you'll get sort of more of the batch at a time. Then we just gently pour the colony into the sieve everything adults bits of food debris beetles and all try not to let the beetles climb out at least they won't fly away. And with this one it's quite a large colony so I think I'm going to have to do it in a couple of different batches. But if we just give it a little shake, So now you have your nursery tub that is full of babies, some of which you can see and some of which, as I say, will be eggs that are absolutely microscopic. But you're not going to be able to see those ones. But we need to give them some food and some bedding. In terms of bedding, they can have exactly the same thing that the adults have got. You can see that in this case, they've still got quite a lot of the fine porridge oats left over. So I'm going to leave them with that for now, and then I'll just top them up with more oats as necessary if they need it later on. But you can give them anything you would give to the bigger worms. You know, wheat bran, anything that's cereal based is fine. But now that they've got some bedding, we need to give them something to eat. And I like to give the little ones some finely grated carrot or potato. By grating it up, what it means is that it's just in little tiny pieces that you can spread nice and evenly throughout the tub. As I say, because they're so small, it's not like the little ones can travel very quickly or very easily. And this way, they don't have to travel very far to find any food or water. The last thing you want them to be do is getting dehydrated. As soon as they start to get a little bit dehydrated, they will stop growing. And what we want ultimately is the fastest growth rate possible. What I'll do is I'll put all of the adults back into the colony together and I'll come back to them in about three weeks and I'll repeat this process and you'll get another batch of eggs, batch of babies that will go into a separate nursery tub. As you can see from sort of like the style of tub that I'm using, they've come from a stacking drawer. And that just means that all the different batches of babies are kept together and then as they get older they go on into bigger tubs which are then used to feed them on. And it's just a way of kind of keeping a revolving 
constant number of mealworms coming along so you're not in a sort of glut and then famine sort of time with them it means that you've always got ones which are growing up and are ready to be fed on but that's going to be it from me i thought i would just show you this sort of side of the mealworm journey if you have any questions at all feel free to pop them down in the comments and i'll get back to you as soon as i possibly can but i'll leave you to get on with the rest of your day i hope you have a good one bye bye now